In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge our sins before the presence of the Lord so that we can prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who, seeing the human race falling into death, willed to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, pardon my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My heart, horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. The bow of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbled, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust, from the dung heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O King of all nations,
patience and keystone of the church. Come and save men whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help, he has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. We can see in the Blessed Mother the incarnation of one of the most important virtues, which is humility. Everything in her life, everything in her words, our charge of humility. And this is normal in the one we call the most pure. There is no stain of sin in her soul, in her heart, in her words, in her actions. She's the most pure. And I say this is normal to see this in her because since there is, there is no original sin in her soul, and therefore, since there is no pride in her soul, we can always see this virtue uh, shining in her soul, the virtue of humility. And she says in this beautiful hymn, inspired in the one we just... Um, that the mother of Samuel said. We can see in this hymn that the, the Mary says, the Lord is the author of everything I am and everything I do. She doesn't address all the wonderful things to his holiness, to her own holiness. She doesn't address all that she is to, his, in, to her intelligence or own strength. No. She says, the Lord is the author. The Lord is the Almighty who has done great things through me. He's the Savior. We live in a society in which man has been put in the center of everything. And somehow we are all contaminated by the idea that we can do it by ourselves without the help of anyone. Because we're like superheroes, the supermen. We don't need God to attain achievement or the progress. 
Our own strength is enough. Our own intelligence is enough. This is prideful. And don't forget that pride is the root of the disobedience of Adam, Adam and Eve. We have to say, with the Blessed Mother, Lord, without you, I cannot even exist. Without you, I, can even, I cannot even exist, and I cannot do the good that I do. You're the strength of my life. You're the source of my strength, of my love. And I think that we all here come because we say, Lord, without you, my life is a mess. I don't have the strength to face my own issues. I don't have the strength to be patient again, again, one more day. Without you, I don't have the love enough to forgive, to turn the page. We don't say, we don't say, uh, we're so poor that we cling or we hold on to a fiction, a story tale, something invented by the church to have some refuge in some transcendence, transcendence uh, being because we are naive, uh, we are, uh, how poor we are, we are so full. Mm? No, we say because we're intelligent, because we know ourselves enough, we acknowledge the Lord as our rock. And humility doesn't, doesn't mean weakness. Humility means truth. I am what I am. I'm a creature. I'm a creature. Don't let, be, don't let others lead you to be uh, deceived. We're creatures and we, and we need help. So, once again, I invite you to, to reread this beautiful hymn and, and acknowledge once again, Lord, thank you for all the good things you have done in my life and through my life. Thank you. Thank you. And I ask you and I ask for your help, for your grace, for me to continue loving, for me to continue being patient, for me to continue fighting against my, my own sins. Two things, therefore, for you today. Give thanks. Give thanks. Because of the good things you have done, knowing that you did that because of God's help. And then, again, say, help me. Don't be afraid of saying this. Don't feel like you're weak because you're asking for help. When, when we think that I'm ashamed for asking for help, there is pride. There is a big doses of pride. So let us pray in silence. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the Church of Christ, for the world, and for one another. For our Holy Father and our bishops and priests who have been dedicated to the Lord for as long as they live, that their self-sacrifice may be pleasing in his eyes 
and an inspiration for all his people, let us pray to the Lord. That world leaders may be willing to raise the needy from the dust and to lift up the poor, working for life, for justice, and for peace, let us pray to the Lord. That world leaders may be willing to raise the needy from the dust, excuse me, the merry song of praise may find an echo in our hearts, that we may celebrate God's wonderful ways of lifting up the lowly, filling the hungry with good things, and coming to our help in, our, in all our needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That those who suffer and have asked our prayers may have cause to sing their own Magnificat as God remembers his promise of mercy for each of them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, that God who casts down the nether world and raises up again may give them life with himself in his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful and almighty God, hear our prayers and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, 
our dear and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself our your children, scattered through all the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Giving thanks to the Lord for all his wondrous deeds he has done in our lives. And also giving thanks because we have become many times instruments of His grace, of His blessings towards others. And also asking Him His grace, His help. Knowing that our existence, everything depends on Him. He's the source of everything. And we're not ashamed. We, we should not feel ashamed for feeling dependent, uh, feeling that dependence on the Lord. We say the prayer Jesus taught to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not over sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 
I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof.
Let us pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the, the rewards of the blessed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen.